Oh, by the way, guess who asked for a raise today? Who? Oh. Dinkus. You believe that? Brian, you know, you call everyone here Dinkus. I don't know who you're talking about. You know, forklift Dinkus? Oh. But you call him Boy Genius. Oh, right, yeah. Well, Boy Genius asked for a raise. I said, are you kidding me? You almost got somebody killed last week. And then he tried to blame it on Dinkus over there. You know you really ought to learn the employees' names. Yeah, I was thinking about that. But then I figured, hey, if this deal goes through next week, I won't have to. It's not like I'm going to be inviting Dinkus and Boy Genius over for dinner. Uh, this is a great display for a lot of people's comedic talents, especially, you know, Ben Affleck and Milo Kunis. And, and yeah. w was that kind of cool to give people the roles that really uh, people aren't used to seeing them in? Yeah, that's, that's, that's really fun. It was, it was really fun to see Ben Affleck come in and just, I mean, I, I just thought he... The scenes with him and Jason, I, I just love them. I, I, I was, I was so happy with that. I, um, you know, we had read some people for it, and then he said he wanted to do it, and he started talking about this guy that he went to high school with, and it just came together. Same thing with, um, like, Dave Keckner. I, I, I hadn't really imagined, because he usually is kind of a cowboy type or something. You know, he does that thing, and uh, I, th I just thought he was great. He's been in so many movies, and I've had people just not recognize him, and all I did was put glasses on him, <laughs> so I think it's <laughs> just his acting. Uh, same with Cliff, Cliff Collins, yeah. uh, who's usually plays a Mexican gangster. He's a redneck in this movie. Mm -hmm. He was a Romulan in Star Trek. Yeah. And <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. To, you know, and Beth Grant also, like... It's, it's funny, when we did looping on this movie, the, the sound people who've been watching the movie, because we're over and over again doing the sound and these people come in to, to loop their lines and they can't believe it's the same person <laughs> they've been looking at all this time. So. There's uh, actually a, 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 one, one great thing about your career is you've had several uh, lightning struck several times for you and which is just really cool. You have things that, that people really, really love, uh, you know, it'd be a Simbad Head and Office Space and all that. So is that kind of cool to have that behind you? Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's um, I mean, I, I don't, I never get tired of hearing people say they like that stuff. Because, you know, I mean, it's, it's stuff, it, it, you know, even Beavis and Butthead in a weird way is kind of personal, you know, so it's yeah. just, it's always really, really nice to know that it connects with people. And do you think you'll return to either one of those uh, sometime? You know, I, Beavis and Butthead, I like to keep the door open, you know, yeah. maybe. I, I don't know what I would ever do with Office Space, especially since there's there have been two really great office shows that have come on since, you know, like yeah. the British office and the American office. So I don't, I think they're kind of filling that niche pretty nicely. So uh, it, it would have been fun to have done more, just more scenes with Gary Cole and Stephen Root and Ron Livingston, you know, that I just, I just loved all those actors and I felt like, you know, there was a point where I was thinking that might have been a fun TV show. The last thing, people, do the people often ask you to do voices? <laughs> yeah, once in a while. <laughs> yeah. I, I get, uh, the problem is, like, I'll get asked to do Beavis and Butthead, which I do pretty quietly, and it's usually in a loud place, and then say, oh, you're not the guy. <laughs> but, uh, were you going to ask? No. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, if you'd like to, you're more than welcome <laughs> to, but I wouldn't put you on the spot like that. Do you want to go to the bedroom? I'm a little tired. Sexual frustration is really hard. If I don't get home before eight, she puts on the sweatpants. And once the sweatpants are on, I get nothing. Hi. Hon? Joel, let me introduce you to the new temps. This is Cindy. Hey. Hi. And, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Damn. She work here? Yeah, she's a temp. She's a tramp? Temp. Stress is a killer. What are you doing? What are you doing? What is he doing? We can't do our job if they don't do our job. Extract. I get paranoid when I smoke. Not if you smoke a little. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.